Investigators say they've identified more suspects in what they believe are involved in a fraud scheme that targets the elderly. Nine people have already been charged, accused of victimizing 45 residents in assisted living facilities. 7 News reporter Kirsten Glavin is here with those new details. Kirsten. That's right. Nine people have been charged so far, and we're learning there may be five more in on this scheme. But the man they're really looking for, believed to be behind it all, has still not been caught. It's an elaborate fraud scheme that investigators believe has been going on at three assisted living facilities for months. I've been here 31 years and we've never had anything like this before. So. Investigators in Spartanburg County say 45 elderly residents lost more than $100,000 after they were targeted by at least nine people involved in this criminal enterprise. Investigators say the scheme started with Spartanburg resident Tamara Taylor, who worked at Summit Hills, Woodland Place, and the Charles Lee Center. Deputies say she confessed to taking pictures of residents' intake sheets and selling that personal information to this man, Joshua Glenn. It's believed Glenn would then go to Target and Walmart and buy iPhones through third-party service providers. He would pay them to open up a fraudulent account. Investigators say he'd then sell the iPhones and the elderly would start getting the phone bills. The Charles Lee Center's chief executive officer, Gerald Bernard, says Taylor had been working at their facility for about six months as a direct care professional. It blew me away. I mean, I can't believe that somebody would actually do something like that. I mean, we work with some people who uh, many people will consider some of the most vulnerable people in South Carolina. He says Taylor cleared a background check before she was hired and has since been fired. Unfortunately, every once in a while you run into something like this, and um, we have no tolerance for that. So far, investigators with the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office have signed 201 warrants on these nine people. They say they still have not been able to find Joshua Glenn. Anyone with information about his whereabouts is asked to call them immediately. Live in the studio tonight, Kirsten Glavin, 7 News. Kirsten, thanks. The Charles Lee Center says they'll change their policy on how people's personal information is handled at the assisted living facility. Spartan County Sheriff's Office says they do not believe there was anything the center could have done to prevent this type of fraud.